Well, Don's greatest accomplishments have been in advancing the mineral industry and bringing it really, in many ways, into the 21st century. He's a natural leader, and he understood the importance of the need to engage communities uh, early in any kind of development project and doing it in a respectful manner. A crucial part of Don's impact in the industry has been his work with PDAC as the founder and chair of its Aboriginal Affairs Committee, established in 2005, when he recognized the need to bring Indigenous groups and the mineral industry together. And I think I was able to make the case that no, we should not take sides in this. We should try to stay neutral and help bring the two parties together and find a, a solution that's collaborative going forward. By any measure, the relationships have come a long way on both sides. The initial um, uh, interactions were about respecting treaty rights and entitlements and entering into what were called impacts and benefits agreements. But now that First Nations are developing more capacity for direct participation, we really wanted to see it evolve beyond that. A key milestone for the Aboriginal Affairs Committee was signing a Memorandum of Understanding with the Assembly of First Nations. And we were able to make that happen in 2008 with a signing ceremony at the convention. And it was a, a wonderful, upbeat moment and really, I think, helped give our whole initiative in PDAC real momentum going forward. Since its inception, the Aboriginal Affairs Committee's efforts have increased Indigenous participation at the PDAC convention and opened the lines of communication. I'm very proud of it, actually, in that it's been a very uh, big success story for PDAC because 2004, 2005, there were very few Indigenous participants in the uh, annual convention. I think you could count them on one hand at that time. And now there are hundreds of self-identified Indigenous people participating in the convention every year. And also, there's a lot of uh, company leadership that uh, participate uh, as uh, audience or on panels to share their stories. Don is president and CEO of Avalon Advanced Materials, which focuses on projects involving non-traditional materials that are critical to new, clean technologies. His own company reflects the same strong values he brings to the committee, including a commitment to involve Indigenous communities from day one on any project. As we started working on our uh, lithium project near Kenora, that we should really try to find creative ways for this community to benefit more from the uh, economic opportunities that a resource development project like that can create for those communities. And I've been doing it ever since. Don's philanthropic efforts focus on education. He funds scholarships at McGill and Dalhousie Universities and is a member of the Board of Mining Matters. Don was born in Montreal, but grew up in Truro, Nova Scotia. His interest in geology and indigenous communities started at an early age. I've always had an interest in, uh, in geology. My uh, grandmother was a collector of rocks and minerals, and growing up in Nova Scotia, near where our cottage was, we used to find fossils on the beach quite regularly, and I was um, fascinated by that. His exposure to a local indigenous community as a teenager allowed Don to see the impact that positive economic participation could have. His dream has always been to see Indigenous business people becoming leaders in the industry. It's starting to happen now. There are more and more examples of that type of participation. And for me, that's kind of realization of a dream that that's, because I believe that's fundamentally important to sustaining the future of our industry in Northern Canada. Don has gone on and has encouraged territorial governments federal governments and indigenous governments to look at mining not just in exploration, not just as one project, but how to really have your people benefit from taking leadership in the entire mining region.